it's better late than never <laughs> it's better late than never Maje, you want me to carry you can mama carry you Come. No! I just wanted to be nice to you, Majesty. Ah, my first live stream for today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, is there anybody in the house? Hello, amazing viewers. Anointed viewers. Ndechineke teremanu. Ndechineke na choma ma 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 ma. Where are the blessed ones? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> this is my first live stream for today. Look at them turning in. Look at them coming in. Am I not blessed? <laughs> you know, I don't have a specific time coming live on this page. But anytime I do, people just turn, turn up. <laughs> oh yeah i did something funny on my head <laughs> mbeke hairstyle oh my goodness hi everybody happy sunday the time right now is 11 06 p.m and this is me coming live for the first time today um we woke up very late and we went to the swimming pool that is of course after eating we spent like um 45 minutes at the pool and we came home took shower spread laundry did the dishes and um i didn't cook today because i was still eating my remnants leftover <laughs> i was trying to finish my leftovers and uh, majesty took a shower that was after the swimming pool my god i told you guys this boy love to take shower <sighs> anyway he stayed um for so long in the shower and uh he fell asleep <laughs> he fell asleep <laughs> i'm like why am i not on live stream so that i can just show his cute face this boy fell on the <laughs> he fell asleep in the shower he was sleeping and was calling mama 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 oh my god <laughs> Anyway, I took him and cleaned his body, dried his hair, and um, put him to sleep. And then I seized that opportunity to do this mbweke. We call it mbweke hairstyle. So maybe if I have a wig, I can be wearing my wig in it. But since I don't have my wig here, because my husband forgot to get the wig, which my one of my followers sent to me in Kuwait. <laughs> so um, Darko didn't get the wig because he didn't go home after work. He came straight to Dubai from work. This is how much my husband wants to be with us. Because <laughs> I was sending him a message while at work. I said, okay, babe, when you're going home, get me my, my wig that was sent to me and get other stuff. And he's like, I'm not going home. I'm coming straight to you from work. I'm like, you know what? F those things. Just come. Bring your ass here, baby. <laughs> we miss you. So for the meanwhile, I'll be carrying my hair like this. Anyway. <laughs> you all already know my lifestyle now i have phd in not pleasing anybody so i just carry my head like this as the spirit late sometimes i want to look like somebody's wife and sometimes i want to look like um <laughs> and today majesty woke up i braided his hair on his page you guys are not following majesty on his page See the beautiful hair I made him. I see the hair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Why are you crying? Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you got a little bit of um you saw the hair a little bit, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. At least it's not looking bad. <laughs> The school bus he bought, Majesty, is awesome. Oh, let me tell you, Majesty takes the school bus everywhere he goes to, even to the pool. He was bringing it anywhere. Even when he wants to go to sleep, he's with the school bus. <laughs> Except for this moment that he's watching um, this stuff. So, um, after braiding his hair, I uploaded a um, few videos on my channel. Guys, I made a video of my husband departing. 
You guys are not watching my videos on YouTube. Why? What happened? If it is my husband, dump me now. You will run. Some of you will break your leg. You will break your neck. You will break your ankle to go and watch it. Eh? You people don't want to go and watch this one. You people should be watching me now. You people will say you don't have time. You have time to watch negative news, right? You people don't want to go and watch this one. Anyway, why am I stressing myself? Whereby I have some people that brought out their time to watch. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I'll be spreading um, positive vibes, positive vibes. And anybody that drops negative comments, I'll use your negative comments as a, as a topic so that others will go and watch because that is the kind of videos people like to watch, negative comments. Look at this beautiful video of my husband leaving. We were all crying. Um, monitoring lizards, sorry. Monitoring spirits, they've gone there. One of them, Hannah Cabana. Her name is Hannah Cabana. She's faceless. Maybe she's ugly or what, I don't understand. Because somebody that is faceless and ugly cannot drop such comment. She said, why is your husband always leaving? Eh? He has a family in, in Kuwait, so, and he's leaving you, you here in Dubai. Hannah Cabana, so you did not see any good video that I've been posting to comment. Is in this sweet one. Eh? That you come and left your stupid comment. I don't know why people will be victimizing women. Women will be victimized all the time. Eh? Victimized, victimized, victim, victim. So my husband has a family in Kuwait. Does it occur to you that me too, I can have a family in Dubai? Or you think it's only men that know how to cheat? Women too, they cheat. Women too, they cheat too. Oh. Now that my husband is in Kuwait, this is a very great opportunity for me to go and look for your younger brothers. Eh? And do nonsense with them. But no, I have chosen this life. And this is the kind of life I want to live. Respectable life. In the sight of God. And for my conscience. I don't have time to be doing mingling mingling. Because you are, you are not um, honest with your, your husband. Doesn't mean every woman or every man is like that. Okay? How, how dare you put that kind of comment in my, in my comment section? Hannah Cabana. How, how dare you? Like, look at me. We be mates. Eh? We be mates. So, eh, your family is not public this thing. We will not talk. You should do go go on. My, fa my husband has a family in Kuwait. And so what? Even if he has a family in Kuwait, it's a good thing that he doesn't have a family with you. It's good that he doesn't have a family with you. And she said, go back to your family in Nigeria. So you don't like the way a, a black woman is being loved. You don't like it. Eh? Njo, 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 njo. Oh, it's only negativity that people want to be watching. Only negativity. Your husband leave you. That is what you want to be watching. Are you? Is your eye not tired of watching? Um, my husband left me. My husband beat me. This person got divorced. This person cheated on me. This person is... Is your eyes not paining? Your eye not they pain you. You can't see good one where your eyes see. You can't they put negative comment. Ha, ha. To think of it, they gave you Hannah. Is your name really Hannah? Because Hannah in the Bible doesn't behave like that. Eh? Eh? The fact that your husband left you to go have another family does not mean that everybody's husband is like that. And the fact that your husband left you to go and now you are with your family in Nigeria doesn't mean everybody will be like that. Appreciate people for once. Thank God for people for once. People are celebrating bad news. People are enjoying themselves. En enjoy with those people. Eh? I went to my channel again. I saw one Muslim guy, guys. This Muslim guy dropped a comment under my, my testimony video. Um, where The one I made about coming to Dubai. This Muslim guy said, Hi, Glory. I'm a Muslim. And I have been looking for an opportunity to come to Dubai all this while. And I have given up. But your video is telling me to go ahead. Thank you. So guys! Honestly speaking, if we, if we share our testimonies, we don't know people out there that we are helping. If we share the good things that God has done for us, somebody else out there, you are encouraging that person. Look at this Muslim guy coming here to say he has almost given up. But now he's going to start again. That really touched my heart. People's marriages are breaking. People's homes are breaking. And that is why I'm coming here always praying for people. 
As my wife they walk, they sweet me so, your own too go walk. And he go sweet you. He go sweet other person. You people should stop discouraging those people who want to get married. Stop discouraging them that you're not a witch and a wizard all the same time. Stop it. And sometimes when we cast people out, it's not those people, it's not their, it's the demon inside them we are casting out because the demon inside them is irritated. They don't like you when you cast them out. And you brought your family to social media, so expect it. Yes, I expect it. I can carry it, but can you, can you carry what I will tell you? Can you accept what I will tell you? Can you carry it? Because this thing I'm telling you will go to you and your generations. You might not see it now. And if you like, deny it unless you repent. If people can come on internet and do all sorts of negative things, all sorts of trash, trashy things, hmm? I will come on internet, this same internet whereby negativity is going on, whereby fake is the new, new norm, eh? Whereby people look at people as a nobody, whereby you cannot make a life more unless you get this. No, I'm coming here to rewrite it. And if you don't want to watch me, did I put chain on your neck or on your leg? You leave. Let people who want to be inspired be. Stop discouraging people. Eh, Miss Gloria, I love you, but I think your husband, how dare you, which kind of love? You see, you go on for love. Huh? You, you don't love me. You hate me. You hate that I'm being loved this way. You hate that Miss Gloria is being loved this way. Another woman wrote a message on the comment section. Miss Gloria, this your testimony has really touched me. After watching it, I went to my room, I knelt down, I said a prayer for you. And this testimony will continue to happen. It will remain permanent in your life. Immediately I responded because there are types of comments I respond. And there are times of comments I leave heart on. Okay? The reason why I leave heart is because I'm with majesty, I'm doing something, I'm with my phone. But if I'm not with majesty, I'll just sit down and reply those comments. But you see that particular comment, the thing touched me. I replied, I said a very big amen to it. Guys... Why do people give testimony in the church? Because God has done so many things. Some people will be like, Facebook is not church. Hello? Jesus Christ is not only in the church. Jesus Christ is everywhere. Somebody is watching me in the hospital. Somebody might be watching me from the prison yard. Somebody might be in the ICU, anywhere. But your words of encouragement can, can, can make them not to give up. Imagine you want to go on a trip. You've searched, done everything, all to no avail. And then just this person's video now made you like, no, don't give up. Can they mad na bear what they win chew and chew, huh? Nate. Nate. My fellow ladies, my fellow sisters, anybody that said they will not love you like, right. Eh? Holy Ghost fire. Oh, come on, such one. Patch one. Yeah, Fight, 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 fight. Now, Jesus, we are casting them out. It's not those people. It's not them. It's the demon inside them because the demon is using different kinds of people. Look at you. Is there anything wrong with you? Eh? If you have that job, is he a, is he a crime? If you have that house, those properties, those mansions, is it a crime? If you have twins, triplets, quadruplets, is it a crime? If you are winning every day, is it, a, is it only you that came to this world to be suffering? Cast them out. Let them get out. If they, don't want, if they don't want to elevate, let them remain there. But you cast them out and move on. Nobody should come to my video and discourage people. Don't ever, if you don't want Holy Ghost Fire to pursue you. Don't in your life. I don't come here to, to spread positive, um, negative um, news. What you see is what you get. If there's anything I hate in my life, it's toxic people. I don't tolerate toxic people in my life. I'll tell you off. I'll tell you off. In my life, in my page, toxicity, stay away from me. Stay away. If you want to remain toxic, good for you, but stay away from me because I'll cast and bind you. Share the good news and encourage people after it is done, not when it is on the process. Because people will sabotage you when you are discussing when your, your good news is on the process. Know the difference between friends and acquaintances. Okay? But when God has answered your prayer, you can share it if you want to. You mustn't come on social media to share it. You have loved ones. You have friends. Share it with them. 
You don't know who you are encouraging. At least it's done. Anybody that wants to scatter it, they can't scatter it because it is already done. That is why you shouldn't share it when it is on the process because those who share their stuff when they are already planning it, check, check it. It takes the grace of God for them to, to complete that process because people will sabotage it, discourage you, say some words that will say it's not possible. Like they said, Nigerians cannot get permanent residence in Dubai. Had it been I brought it, they will, they will discourage me. They will not make me want to go forward because people don't like good things. Especially our fellow black women, when they see another black woman being loved right by her husband. Ah! Their ancestors, jealousy will come. Eh? Who is she? Why are they loving her like that? Hello, it's our best right. It's our best right to be loved like that. Perfectly. If we can watch videos where they are beating women on social media, I will show you a video where a man can love his wife. When you see where they're beating woman, you, you will be sharing it. Sharing it. You are happy sharing it. Share this one too. Whether they love woman very well. Una no go share them. Na bad news una go they share. Can't you say no to that bad news? Can't you say no to it? Concentrate on the good things. Those things that will inspire, motivate, and elevate you. Concentrate on it and see your life turn around. Listen, let me tell you something. All those people you are bringing down on internet, they are crying some cry. Eh? That will be making your life miserable. You don't know them personally and you just justify and personal perfectionalize or everything they are doing because they're on social media do you know them are you living with them <laughs> you people should be careful you don't know human being you don't know human being no. ha, hey. so the reason why i made this video is because of that muslim guy's comments hmm? If my video fit touch a Muslim guy's comment, and I was talking about God there. God, thank you. God, thank you. Good news is, this is just the beginning. Good news goes still they come. And we go to shame our enemies. We go to shame them. Good news goes still they come. Whether they like them or not. You that you're watching me. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a prophetess. Eh? But I'm a daughter of God. Good news will come your way soon. That heart you brought to celebrate me, good news will happen to because God is still in the neighborhood. Oh no, yeah, He's not far. He's there. You celebrate your sister, you'll be celebrated too. Not give up. You see that place you are right now, but a lot of people want to be in that position you are right now. So don't stress yourself. Be grateful. Thank God for where you are right now. Eh? While waiting for the bigger one, because it will definitely happen, it will come. It will come. You see those little, little things you take for granted. <laughs> Once you lose it, that is when you will know that it matters. When I was in Kuwait, I really want to be soaking in, in a bathtub. But we don't have bathtub. Even though I sit in Majesty's bathtub, it, will, it is nothing. But now I have bathtub here. I have swimming pool. I can sit down there for hours. And then I'll be like, oh my God. I remember when I prayed for what I have now, what I'm enjoying right now. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Guys, thank God for where you are. I know that there was a day you prayed for what you have right now, right? There was a time you prayed for what you, you have. A beautiful home, beautiful children, home full of love, wonderful husband. Ah. So many people are looking for this, going from one herbalist to another to do voodoo, to do juju, to do all sorts of um, uh, um, ungodly things, to keep a man or to keep a woman, but yet we got it free. We should be grateful. We should be grateful. I am happy because I know when I prayed for this, and I have it. Look at me now. While waiting for um, more good news to come because it's definitely going to happen. So, my dear, don't let anybody discourage you. No, let them. Don't. You deserve all the good things in this life. You deserve it. You did not create yourself. The person that created you knows you deserve it. You deserve it. So if you see negativity, eh? Debunk them, cast them, bind them, hagawa. They will be feeling irritated, but at least you've casted and banded them. Mm. They concern about what so they lost. They lose. So that is just it. So God is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Thank you for your blessing, glory. Oh, thank 
thank God my sister is not me. Or is, I'm, just, I'm just a messenger to remind because some of us have forgotten that God still loves us also. You know? Somebody will be like, hey, you just insulted somebody and you're calling God. Hello, who is that person? Who made that person judge over you? Don't listen to them. And they don't even know when you reconciled with God. Did they know? Were they there? They weren't. So don't let them to deceive you that you are not a child of God. You are a child of God. You are. And that life you have is an evidence. Do you know some people are in the hospital with oxygen in their nose? They cannot breathe on their own. And look at you breathing it. Oh my God. Look at the blessings you are taking for granted. If the negativity is coming, you cannot cast them out and live your good life. Don't mind those people. They want to be carrying their negativity everywhere to be spreading it with people. It's people that are not happy with their life. You're not happy with your life. Somebody's happy with her. Instead of you to be happy. Or not a fugu for you will have heart attack. You go pay you go, you go break your heart one day. And they tell you true. I'm happy for your growth, Glory. Hey, Mommy Kimberly. <laughs> She's here. Thank you. All of us are growing. And you know why? I'm very happy that I started it on this social media. You guys literally saw it. You saw it. Anybody that, that is holding God so tight, he will not disappoint the person. He won't disappoint you. People will be, will be praying for your downfall, but how God will be blessing you will be, will be surprising them. Like, oh my gosh. She doesn't deserve this. Hello, how dare you say they don't deserve this? Are you God? <laughs> that is why when God wants to bless you, he doesn't need anybody's approval to do so. So focus, my friends. That husband, you go get him. You people said you love how Daoko is treating me. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sometimes I'm like, when I see my fellow sisters not being treated well, that is why I'm praying for them, that God should, should bless them with a wonderful husband. So everybody deserves to be happy. Isn't it? We all deserve to be happy. And those that have given up their hearts in getting married, no. It's a beautiful thing, my sister. I'm not trying to force you, but God will give you your own. A man that has only eyes for you. And for you, a man watching me, God will give you your woman. A woman that has an eye for you alone. Because there are women that are doing Arabanko outside there. A woman you can say, stay here, stay in the house. They won't think of cheating on you. They won't think of disrespecting you. A woman that will understand you and you will understand her. It goes in both ways. And above all, make God your priority. Once there's God in that home, it's happy home. Yeah, devil will come because they don't like happy home. But God will give you the courage eh, to make things work. To make it work. Tomorrow is not promised, but enjoy it. Enjoy it. Be strong, my friends. I love you. I love you guys. Glory, you are a wonderful speaker. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I'll be asking myself, you see me? <laughs> Thank you. I did, 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 look at my flat bum bum. <laughs> did you notice I'm glowing ever since my husband left? Oh my gosh. I miss that man. <laughs> You are an inspiration. Much love from the USA. Hi, Bunny Jill. Much love from Dubai. Thank you, sis. You're welcome. Monica, Mary, Rema Blakes. Thanks, Glory. I really need this. Are oh, you welcome? You will. You know the thing is that I don't even have it in mind before coming on live stream. I don't even know what to share. I don't know. Honestly. But I think um, uh, somehow God just has a way of putting words in me, you know. Because another reason why I don't go live is, is I don't have a content. I'll be like, if, should I just go there and be doing rubbish, doing my normal thing? And then all of a sudden, something will just come up. So I'm grateful to God for that. Your words are a source of encouragement. Thank God, my sister, kindness. Oh, you have a beautiful name. Sanji Boats, happy 4th of July. What is 4th of July? What is, what is happening 4th of July? Nice one, you've spoken with Lola Albert. Thank you, dear. I have this um, spread shop 
where I'm selling t-shirts. They were saying something about 4th of July, but I don't really know what is happening. I abandoned my spray shirt. Oh my God, I need to go and focus there. What did you do to make your, your tongue stop hurting? Because <laughs> I was with my loved one. I was with Dark. <laughs> Guys, we did not have sex, so I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> We didn't have sex, but we just, I was just hugging him. I was hugging him so tight, guys. Because there was not much time. He didn't even spend like much 24 hours with me. He came today and left um, the next day. So when he's around me, I dropped, if you notice, I didn't make live stream that day. I dropped my phone. I was just staring at him. I was lost over him. I was hugging on him so tight. <laughs> I was massaging his leg. He's my man, my king. I was massaging his head, his leg. We had bubble bath, so we were in there. I was massaging his leg, his arms. We were just talking, you know, laughing, talking some things about life. We came here. We were sitting to watch TV. I was massaging his shoulders. And the way he was eating the food I made really made me to miss cooking for him because I'm like, oh, I'm not there in Kuwait. I know you missed my food. He ate all the food I made. Did you see the food I cooked in my video? He, oh my gosh, he loved it. And I made a hot sauce separately because of majesty. He, it made me so happy. So that little time I spent with him healed my tongue. Although I was taking this booster, um, ginger, um, um, orange, lemon, um, carrots, and apple. I was, I was drinking it every day and I was washing my mouth with warm water and salt you know but i was thinking that was not enough so I, I have to put some salt in my hands and because it was a very big wound in my tongue uh, inside there some people said maybe i bite my tongue when i was talking no it's different when you bite your tongue you see in the middle of your tongue you have a wound how can you bite your tongue in the middle of the tongue inside when i bring it out it was a very reddish round oh my gosh my immunity was low and stress also I was stressed this past few days after this Facebook, um, uh, after this, my um, residency, whatever. So it really stressed me. That's why Darko is always telling me, Obi, stop stressing. You know, when you stress, you look like a pin. <laughs> you look like a pin. Leave the stress for me because I'm fat. If I stress, you won't notice. But when you stress, you will just... <clears throat> so... I said, okay, I will listen to you. I was just holding on him like a little baby. <laughs> Even him too, he dropped his phone. Oh my goodness. We just dropped our phone. We we're playing with Majesty. Majesty was putting um, buckets bucket on his father's head. Oh, Majesty answered Leslie's call. Hello. Oh my goodness. So, those things actually was the things that i did that made my tongue to stop hurting so if you notice i feel i feel i feel better it's good when you are around the right person <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> sex is not everything don't worry you get to the point of your marriage when you don't need sex all the time <laughs> The saliva heals naturally. I know it will heal, but it's going to take a long period of time. It's going to take a very long period of time. But when you do this salt and warm water, it will go fast. Glory, we need the stars on here. Oh my goodness, the stars. I mistakenly put... Yes. I mistakenly put my Nigerian account number. So for Facebook, that is a no, no, no. I have to reapply again when I get my Dubai phone um, account number. Sorry. Bye. So don't worry. Bye. Today is America Independence Day. Really? Hey! Independence in the America. My American followers. Everybody help me wish my American friends happy Independence Day. These people are the... These people are one of the highest people that are watching me. Bye. Help me wish them happy Independence Day. Majesty, hmm? talk to me. What happened, Leslie? <laughs> I will call you later. See, I'm making a video. I never knew. <laughs> 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 
So, Lord Jesus, I pray for my American friends. Keep blessing them. I'm not perfect, Lord Jesus, but they keep watching me. <laughs> I have different cultures from theirs, but they keep watching me. <laughs> Sometimes they don't understand my accent, but they keep watching me. <laughs> Sometimes when people try to troll me, you see them defending me. <laughs> they don't even know me from Adam. <laughs> and they are sharing me out. Lord Jesus, bless America and bless our followers. What happened? in jesus name and all the nigerians and africans or non-americans living in america as you all celebrate america today whatever reason you went to america for i pray that god will surprise you it shall be great you will possess your possessions when people go there to fail you will go there to succeed in the name of jesus Sickness shall not be your portion. All the money you've been making, you will not spend it on, on unnecessary things. You won't spend it in hospitals. In the name of Jesus. God bless America. God bless everybody from America. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hello. I love when you're happy. I know, right? <laughs> the celebration is tomorrow in America. Oh, you people should send us food, though. <laughs> you people should send us food, though. Happy Independence Day to all glory, American friend. Love, blessings, always. Have a great day. Amen. Andrea, thank you for that prayer. Amen. Amen. <laughs> My sister from another mother, love from America. Hello, sister. You people should enjoy your country, oh. No country is perfect right now, but eh, God will continue to make it better. Enjoy your America. You know how many people want to come to America. Enjoy your country, my sisters, my brothers. In the name of Jesus, Amen. It's almost it's almost um twelve o'clock from here. Thank you, Glory. Canada is July first, but also celebrate with us on Fourth July. Oh, Happy Independence Day to Canada and America. Oh. Yeah. Amen. Okay, guys, I want to go out. I want to go out and see what I can buy for Majesty. Because this this Majesty um started those things he was doing before about food. He doesn't eat food anymore. Leslie, you are disturbing Majesty and I'm making live stream. Leslie. Majesty is watching. You are disturbing him. Uh, yeah. Cut, cut, cut. Press. I will call Leslie later so that you let me talk. So, like I was saying, I want to go and see um, if I can buy um, maybe this broccoli, all those things I was cooking in Kuwait. And all mangoes, um, uh, strawberry i haven't gotten strawberry before him for some time because those people they don't have strawberry and the ones they had the other day was already spoiled so i'll go and see if they have if they don't have i'll go early tomorrow but it's very hot here <laughs> anyway, i'll try and go very early oh. so guys that is it so thank you for watching i hope my 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 little teachings taught you something God bless you. Bye-bye.